Time for the waiver wire presented by YouTube TV. Florio, who are we checking for in week three? Derek Carr is a must add right now. Sam Darnold and Geno Smith also quarterbacks with good matchups next week if you need a streamer. Uh, Zach Charbonnet is the top running back add, followed by the Chiefs guys, Samaj P. Ryan and Carson Steele. Braylon Allen had a huge week too. Cam Akers, because we saw Joe Mixon get a little banged up on Sunday Night Football. Antonio Gibson was uh, looking pretty good in week two. Deontay Foreman had more run than we expected and has a good match against the Giants next week. And then some deep league players, Marshawn Lloyd and Trey Benson, just top handcuffs. Check to make sure uh, if they are out there on your waiver wire. And then some wide receivers. Rashid Shaheed seems to catch a 50-yarder every single week, so he's in play. Alec Pierce and Quentin Johnson uh, built off of their big week one yesterday. Greg Dorch, because he gets the Lions in week three, and the Lions cannot cover the slot. Jalen Naylor, uh, just because he might be the wide receiver one in Minnesota, depending on health. Uh, Andre Iosivas, I uh, probably might have said that a little wrong, but the Bengals wide receiver. Jalen Tolbert uh, as well, who had big volume, and then a couple of tight ends. Hunter Henry had elite volume in week one. Mike Gusecki looked like a legit part of the Bengals offense. And then Laquan's boy, John Smith, who finished as a top 10 tight end in week two. Let's go. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go back to the quarterbacks, though. Laquan, Sam Darnold heading into Monday Night Football is a top 10 fantasy quarterback through two games is this uh just kind of a flash in the pan or is there some staying power here no there's some staying power man that o-line is protecting him and he's going back in that pocket and he's just dishing it out and making huge plays with justin jefferson down the field and hopefully he's going to be healthy enough to come back from that quad injury that he suffered in the game but like look at this pass like this is like sam Darnold just shining at his best right now like this feels a little bit different from the carolina panthers start in the early season like this feels like this is a sam Darnold's team man like we see the vikings going out there putting up these plays like this and it's like really refreshing to see that they don't skip a beat you know with Kirk Cousins now in Atlanta yeah you know I thought last year when Darnold signed with the 49ers everybody laughed and I was like well if somebody could fix him it might be Kyle Shanahan the other guy who could possibly fix him is Kevin O'Connell and uh two weeks in it looks pretty good for Sam Darnold uh Florio real quick because Braylon Allen was on your list he scored two touchdowns yesterday for the Jets if you have Brees Hall I mean you're not totally panicked but should you at least be a little concerned uh, I'm not, yeah, maybe a little bit. I, he had seven carries, which was half as much as Brees Hall had. Four targets, half as much as Brees Hall had. And he became the youngest player in NFL history to score multiple touchdowns. Uh, I, look, I thought before this, like, he's someone you want on your roster because if something happens to Brees Hall, we know he's next in line, uh, a top handcuff. But now seeing that he's getting work like this, he might even have standalone value. If you have Brees Hall... I, I think I'd be willing to up my bid a little bit on him. But even if you don't, he is the kind of running back you want on your bench because he's one injury away from being top 20 with even more upside. Yeah, it seems as though handcuffing running backs is coming back into fashion again uh, across fantasy. And it looks like Braylon Allen's going to be the guy you want if you went out and drafted Brees Hall. 